So we have this lovely exponential expression to simplify. The first thing you should do is make sure you copy the expression correctly. A lot of po points are lost on copying the problem incorrectly. Also, we're going to use these rules of exponents. To simplify means, at the end, we should have one or no negative sign. The letter X should be mentioned one times or not mentioned at all, and the letter Y should appear one time or not even one time. And we're going to have to keep going using these rules until we brought the expression to that form. To me, it looks like the trickiest part is these negative signs. To deal with these negative signs, eventually you're not going to need to write that, but you can think of these as a multiplication of a negative one. That way, this expression would have three factors, y cubed, x to the fourth, and negative one. Same here. For your notes, I'm going to list every single step. To open this expression, we're going to use this rule here, the fourth one, that says that if we are exponentiating a product, we can do so factor by factor. So this expression will be x squared to the third power, y to the fifth to the third power. We're going to think of the negative sign as multiplication by negative 1. So this is negative 1 to the sixth power, x to the fourth to the sixth power, y cubed to the sixth power. And the same, same thing in the denominator, except, see, this should be consolidated. We're going to have less work to do if we think of x times x to the fourth as x to the fifth, based on the very first rule of exponents. So there is going to be a negative 1 to the fifth power. x times x to the fourth is x to the fifth power, further exponentiated to the fifth power. And finally, y to the fourth power exponentiated further to the fifth power. So now we're just going to simplify these little expressions in both numerator and denominator. x squared to the third power is x to the sixth. y to the fifth to the third power is y to the fifteenth power. We're using this rule. That says in case of repeated exponentiation, we can multiply the exponents. Negative one to the sixth power is plus one. We are multiplying six negative numbers. You can pair off the negative signs, so the product is plus one. We do not really need to write it down, but it won't hurt either. x to the fourth to the sixth power is x to the twenty-fourth power, and y cubed to the sixth power is y to the eighteenth power. Now for the denominator. Negative one to the fifth power is negative one, because when we are multiplying five negative numbers, the product is negative x to the fifth to the fifth is x to the twenty-fifth power, and y to the fourth to the fifth is y to the twentieth power. So next, we're just going to consolidate the expressions in both numerators and denominators. In the numerator, let's figure out first the numbers. So the only number that we see is one. Now for the x values, we have x to the sixth times x to the twenty-four. Based on the first rule of exponents, that's x to the thirtieth power. And similarly, y to the 15 times y to the 18 is y to the sum of 15 and 18, which is y to the 33. And in the denominator, we have negative 1, and then those are already ready, x to the 25, y to the 20. We're still not simplified, right? The letter x appears twice, the letter y appears twice. So now we're going to use the second rule. That says if we're dividing and the base is the same, we can subtract the exponents. Also, let's get rid of the negative one. So this negative sign freely moves within the fraction. We should never leave a negative sign in the denominator. To get rid of that, we can multiply both numerator and denominator by the same non-zero number, in this case negative one. What that does is that the denominator will have a coefficient of plus one, and the numerator is negative one. So we just transported the negative sign from the denominator to the numerator. x to the 30 divided by x to the 25 is x to the 30 minus 25, that's x to the 5, and y to the 33 over y to the 20 is y to the difference of 33 and 20, so that's y to the 13. We run out of everything down here, so that's a 1, but again, this is not a simplified form, so the simplified form would be minus x to the 5 y 13. And that is our final answer. Thank you for watching.